Hello again, everybody. Zach Attack is here with it. I'm going for Monday, September 23rd, 2013. I hope everybody had a great weekend this weekend. I did. With the final four gigs of my Summer Jubilee DJ tour, I posted a video of yesterday's finale on this channel on my show at Westview Orchard. I did two Westview Orchard soul shows on Saturday and Sunday. Saturday was kind of a cloudy day. Sunday, the last day of my tour. Best day at Westview all year long. The line was huge, huge. I tell you, packed line all day enjoying the orchards. Sunny day, a little breezy outside, but it was a great fall day. Especially since, like I said, this is the well, this is the first week of autumn, so it makes sense for all these people to come to Westview. Besides those two great shows at Westview, I did a gig Friday, special needs dance. I think this was okay, but they had a good time nonetheless. I ended up. I also did a show Saturday night after my Saturday afternoon at Westview. Went to Wiley Hell's a Home Biker Club for the second year in a while for their biker event. It was great. More laid back than last year. Last year they danced a lot more. They got drunk more. But they liked the old rock and roll videos that I had for my show. So that's my gig reviews for gigs review for the weekend. I got more DJ gigs this weekend on Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Now, let's get on down with the entertainment news and the attack line. We got the number one movie of the weekend being Prisoners, the big movie with Hugh Jackman and Jake Gyllenhaal making a respectfully, okay, 20 million. They make as much as Insidious Chapter 2, which made 40 million last weekend, but still not bad of a showing from a thriller movie, Prisoners. What movies had a big weekend? Sold in TV. Yesterday was, of course, the 65th annual Emmy Awards. My thoughts on the hosting duties of Mr. Neil Patrick Harris, MBH for short. More, she more dance notes. But I think Neil knew it was too particular. But I did enjoy his song and dance routine with the unsurprising cameos of Sarah Silverman and the guy from Castle. I even like the best choreography segment, too, with other we already shows he's like watching Dance with the Stars though. Nice to see Derek Cup again. Who did win best choreography? Big winner, my show. Mighty Family once again. Fourth year in a row. Slashing by girls who beat him at the Emmys and the Golden Globes. Your girls beat Martin for the Golden Globe for best comedy. The Martin won best comedy. Fourth year in a row of the Emmys. Although it's supporting actors and actresses. All the supporting loss to people from Veep and also, uh, there's Jackie Merritt Weaver delivering a stupid short speech beating Julie Bowen. And, uh, Tony Hale won for Veep. And the big winner for Best Drama, Breaking Bad winning. Ending Homeland's one year end, because Homeland won it last year to go at the Emmys. But this year was all about Breaking Bad winning the Best TV Show Drama. And also, a couple upsets in my opinion. The Voice, beating The Amazing Race for Best Reality Show Competition. I watch Amazing Race, not The Voice, so I was very surprised to see a singing show beat Amazing Race. And also, Colbert Report, winning the Best Variety Series, beating Jon Stewart's The Daily Show. Maybe Jon Stewart's hiatus had something to do with Stephen Colbert winning. Also, Big Brothers, Behind the Candelabra, the Liberace movie, winning the Best Miniseries or TV movie. Michael Douglas winning lead actor for his portrayal of the charismatic Liberace with a little tribute from Elton John, unnecessary in my mind. Speaking of necessary, was uh, Carrie Underwood's. I love Carrie Underwood, but Yesterday by the Beatles, tribute or not, too big of a song for her. She tried too hard. You know, it's the Beatles, honey. There you got some of the big winners. The Emmys, I did like Will Ferrell's weird speeches when he presented the awards for uh, Best Drama and Best TV Comedy. Um, now the last bit of news, Shale's back, Shale's going back on the road for the first time in eight years, because she's been doing the Vegas stints, but now she's going back on the road this March of 2014, with a new tour, called the Dress to Kill Tour, it'll kick off in March, it'll be, I live in Michigan, so we'll be here in Michigan, April 12th, out of all places, the Joe Louis Arena. It'll be a 49-city tour, which will feature, of course, big cities. Indianapolis, Nashville, New York, L.A., obligatory. So there you go. Shale's back on a drastic kill.
tool. Starting this month. Tickets go on sale next week for the public. The American Express pre-sale kicks off this week. She announced it on the Today Show. She announced the tour on the Today Show. She said, the world is horrible, but the shows are great. Be ready for to announce this tour for months. Since you know her new album was announced, it'll kick off in March in Phoenix. So nice to see Cher back on the road. Back on the road again. Cher's back on the road again. Kicking off in Phoenix, March 22nd. So Cheryl's going to be back on the road again until the end of July. That is it for this very short attack line. With that in mind, you've all been attacked by the news from Zach. Thank you all very much for watching. See you all later. Yeah.